大家好! Many of my subscribers have asked me to explain how I went to China and learned Chinese in 8 months. So today I'm going to talk about how you can do this too. How can you get a visa to study Chinese in China? Someone even asked me, do I need to sell my car to go and live there? So I am also going to explain you how much does it cost to live in a big city like Shanghai or Beijing. Now, the first way to study Chinese in China is to enroll in a language course in university. And you're only going to learn Chinese, you're not going to study anything else. You can do this for six months, one year or even two years. This kind of language courses are five hours a day, which means they are pretty much intensive. And you're going to, I think you're going to study like two levels of Chinese every semester. The good thing is that programs like this don't cost a lot. They cost about $2,000 to $3,000 per semester. And the visa process is pretty much easy because the university is going to help you with everything. Like they will tell you what documents you need to provide and I know that you're worrying about the accommodation like where am I going to stay and let me tell you this is not a problem because the university also provides dormitories so basically you don't have to go and look for a house if you want to live in a shared room then it's like $200 per month which is essentially nothing and if you want to live alone then it's like more or less $500 a month if you don't care about money and you want to live in an apartment then you can also rent an apartment but keep in mind that the school is not going to help you with this and the apartment is not even that expensive it might be like $600 per month but I want to give a suggestion, go for a single room in a dormitory, which it doesn't cost a lot. And at the same time, inside the dormitory, you can have a pretty international experience because there are people coming from all over the world. Now, the majority of people are from Thailand, from Korea or from Japan but there is like literally the whole world there so if you go and rent an apartment i think you will be pretty much lonely when it comes to food you can go for deliveries or you might eat in small restaurants close to the school and this is because most of the dorms are not equipped with kitchens and like this you might spend 150 dollars per month while doing an intensive course like this you cannot work full-time of course because the visa doesn't allow you to do so but the visa allows you to work part-time or to do an internship and part-time jobs or internships might give you $400 per month or even $500 so you can cover up some expenses nevertheless if you want to earn real money while you are in China then you need to give up on this intensive course you could teach English to Chinese students and earn $3,000 up to $4,000 per month. You don't have to worry if you don't have a degree in English teaching because like any major will be fine. Many people that come from Europe, America and Africa they do it this way. They teach English in China and in exchange they get a really good salary because you know $4,000 for living in China is a lot of money, you can save up a lot of money and plus they give you accommodation for most cases and also they will give you a flight ticket to fly to China. Now, in the afternoon after you finish working, you can still do a language course in Chinese. Of course, it will not be as intensive as the first option that I just mentioned, but still it's a great way to go to China and to immerse yourself in the language because let's say you need to go to a shop and you need to ask for something, you still get to practice your Chinese. Now, if you don't want to get a job, but still you want to go to China and you want to get a visa, then you might want to study for a master's degree. And you can study it in Chinese. Let's say that you choose a major in business management. You don't have to study it in Chinese, you can study it in English. 
and the university will provide you with language courses that will run like twice a week so it might be like two hours a week that you have the opportunity to study Chinese. If you have any questions please feel free to comment down below and now you must watch this video and I'll see you there.